Good morning, everybody. So today I have a keto non-scale victory. Let me take my glasses off so you can see my face. Um, I have been having problems with my jeans staying up. The Rock and Republic jeans that have no gap in the back don't have belt loops, the ones that I purchased. So they fall down because now they're too big. So I ordered one size smaller and they fit. I wear a size 14. Now, the thing I did with my keto because I was stuck at 205, I, I stopped taking my um, Herway Vanilla Cupcake Protein and I started taking my, um, no, what was it called? Fortress, Extreme Fortress or something. Um, protein instead of it. Big mistake, I gained six pounds in a week. So I switched back and I lost a pound in 24 hours. I've already lost a couple pounds now because it's been a few days. But my new size 14 pants came in and they totally fit and guess what these ones have belt loops so I can wear these for a little bit longer than I was able to wear the size 16s I'm sitting in my truck in the parking lot at work because my dumb ass left for work half an hour early thinking I was gonna be late <laughs> I get totally panicked and messed up in the morning when like my grandson comes downstairs and I have to feed him breakfast and deal with the dog getting all riled up by him by Gabriel and um, they just totally feed off of each other they're both two-year-olds basically I mean Penelope's 14 15 weeks and she literally is just like a two-year-old she's like a baby deer. She's got really long, clumsy legs and a big body and a medium sized head. And she totally feeds off of Gabriel and he feeds off of her, and they're both jealous over me. And it just makes it total, utter chaos. Who's that redhead? Somebody new just walked into my work in a Mustang. Anyway. Also, there is a department supervisor position that has just come open. So I'm going to go talk to Human Resources and find out what department it is. If it's my department, I'm applying. I've already done all my training. I've done all of my um, leadership courses. And I'm doing my intermediate distance learning um, today and tomorrow. And then next month, I start my advanced training for that department but my goal is to become an assistant store manager this year but I have to become a supervisor first so realistically I'm gonna give myself till I'm 45 unless the only thing that would make me leave Home Depot would be the money that I would get paid to drive a school bus and to have all summer off I would do that I would totally do that because then during the summer I could work for uber and Lyft and postables and just deliver stuff all and people all day long all summer um, yeah so I can do it I have a plan I just need a place to live I did find some really cute one-bedroom apartments in Shelton and I know that's a little ways out there, but my truck is good on gas and it's a 2016. The payment is huge. That's the biggest drawback. I'm actually considering trading it in for a less expensive vehicle as much as I love my truck. I really can't afford it. Hey, there goes my alarm for work because I'm a dummy. What time is it? 9.30? Yeah, I have to be to work in 30 minutes and I'm already here. Oh my god. So, I think I'll clock in a few minutes early, get my apron, find somebody to use my phone for two hours while I do my distance training, and then get to work. Hopefully, 
Garrett's here today because he's been gone for four days. He has been sick. Today would be day five if he doesn't come to work. And it's exhausting being alone in the Millworks department. I have a lot of customers. I have a lot of paperwork. I have auditing. I have a lot of stuff I have to do. If you can see the bags under my eyes. Not sleeping that great. I really need my own space. And if my daughter won't move out, I don't want to leave my boys, but it may come down to it. Because this morning was rough with Dan screaming and yelling and cussing. And <sighs> I hate it. I get it. You are in a bad mood. But seriously, chill. Take a chill pill, count to 10, breathe. Something's gotta work. Okay, I think instead of wasting my gas, I'm gonna go sit inside in the break room. Maybe I can get myself a new apron and decorate it up a little bit. I did buy stencils so I can make a big, my name big on the front of the apron. And I found a button in one of the drawers at my station that says definitely will so I put it under my name so it says Jenny definitely will <laughs> I will make it in life I will succeed alright you guys take care be blessed and rejoice in the day